What's up, Black Powder Maniac Shooters? Yeah, don't have time to go out and do any shooting today. It's the 2nd of July. I'm helping my bride get stuff done for a church picnic tomorrow. And uh, uh, But I did have about 20 minutes a half hour. Enough time to, day, to tape what I'm going to do tonight. So, I'm going to talk about patches stuck down the bottom of your guns. We have all probably had that at one time or another. And I'll show you a little remedy that I would do in a pinch that will help you out. Let me get it set up. And I'll be glad to show you exactly how I do it and uh, something that maybe you can do if you're in the field and you need a patch puller. Okay, shooters. I kind of got the camera upside down looking through the lens. It's kind of strange. But um, in my little tin I keep in my shooting bag, um, I see occasionally you may have a patch get stuck down the bottom of your barrel. And what you would use is what they call a patch puller. As you can tell from looking at mine, one of the prongs is missing. There's another one that kind of sticks out on this away, so that when you twist it in the bottom of the barrel, when you get it on the end of your ramrod like this, you would stick it down in the barrel and pull out the patch from the bottom. Okay. Well, one of my prongs is missing, so I'm not going to buy no one of those. Those things are like six dollars a piece at Cabela's. So. I figured out a way to make this work so that you can actually use an old brush. Now here's a brand new one I picked up when I was at Cabela's yesterday up in Cincinnati. And uh, I'll just use this one as an example because I'm going to use it anyway. I'll show you what to do with this brush to turn into one of these things. And actually, if you don't have to buy one, it save you a little bit of money. Okay, shooters, here's what I'm talking about doing. Take an old brush like this. Actually, this is a brand new one, but I'm going to take another one like this. And I get a pair of uh, Lyman pliers or whatever kind of pliers you want and cut the end off of that thing and just set it aside. What I generally do then is separate these things a little bit. You may have to have another pair of pliers to hold on to it, which I had to. And I just spread them apart a little bit, take all the brushes out of there that's left. Okay, I'm going to have to cut down even a little bit more. And spread them apart just a little bit. Take all the brushes out of it. I'm trying to get it so we can see it while I'm doing this at the same time. And then what I kind of do is spread them out like this. Okay. I just kind of put a little bit of a curl on them just like the part does. That you're wanting to buy. I put a little bit of a twist into it here. A little bit of a twist there. So basically what you're looking for is something that will um, catch the patch in the bottom of the gun. And you don't want it too wide or to scratch the side of your barrels either. So that's kind of a precision art here on what you want to do to make it work for you there. I'm going to bend it in a little bit like this. Bend it in a little bit like this. Okay. I kind of squeeze them together. Look too fat. All right. And there you basically have it. So what we'll do now is stick it on the end of the ramrod. I'll put a patch down on the gun and we'll see how well it works. Okay. A little muslin patch. Just stick it right on the gun, and just for example, you've uh, stuck it down the bottom of the gun and stand her box down. So there it is. So if you have the patch puller that you normally buy for six bucks or so, you could stick that on the end of your ember and pull it out. This is that wire brush I just took apart a few minutes ago and bend the prongs out with a pair of needle nose. So if you put that around the end of your ramrod, thread it all the way down so there's not a chance of getting off. All right. If you bend the prongs just right with a pair of needle nose, you should be able to stick it right down inside that old barrel and get hold of that old patch and pull it right on out of the gun, which is what I've done. So, the cool part is, is if you have an old wire brush laying around your house that you're not using very much and you do break your patch pulling piece, you can make one with one of these, and you don't have to spend the money for another patch puller.
This was like three dollars at Cabela's, where an actual patch puller is five nine nine to six bucks. So not that three dollars makes a difference when you're into a big hobby like this expensive it is, but just something I thought that uh, uh, you may want to try sometime if you need a patch puller and you hate to drive the store when you're just broke or if you've lost it. This works in a pinch. So thanks for watching everybody. Hope some newbies picks up an FL this one, and uh, we'll catch you next time.